tariff on American goods flowing in, and wouldn't that cost jobs in America? Uh, possibly. They can do what they want, Charlie, but here's the fact. The number one source of income into Mexico are Mexicans working here and sending the money back. So that's why repatriation of funds is also a very big piece of President Trump's uh, vision for this country and how to really balance out and make more fair to America, Americans, American workers, our interests and allies, uh, the, all these trade deals that are really imbalanced. Um, people, We just have to stop having people and drugs pour over the border. We are a sovereign nation that spends billions of dollars trying to help other countries protect its borders. It's high time we do the same for America. Kellyanne, why should Mexico pay for a, a wall that they didn't ask for and they clearly don't want? Well, they don't want it, Gail, because they want to continue to allow uh, people, and I assume drugs, since they're not doing much to stop that, pouring over our borders. We have to look at America. Mexico should pay for that wall because they off, they get a, an awful lot from this country through NAFTA and through other uh, monetary disbursements. They get a ton of money from us, $60 billion trade deficit, as the president noted. Mexico just handed over the biggest drug deal dealer, El Chapo. He's in Brooklyn. And? <laughs> okay, that's one good step. That's one small step. Um, Let me ask you, Kellyanne, you are scheduled to speak at the March for Life in yes. Washington today. President Trump is expected to announce his choice for the Supreme Court next week. Will he appoint a Supreme Court justice that will repeal Roe v. Wade? Donald Trump promised as the candidate in that unbelievable